I'm Ted Berg, and this is the Baseball Show presented by Caesars Atlantic City. At the halfway point in the season, we're taking a look at where the Yankees stand so far and what lies ahead for them in the second half. Joining us to talk about the Bombers is Peter Gammons from MLB Network. Peter, thanks for doing this. Thank you, Ted. Thank you very much. Let's talk about the Yankees so far. I think, you know, a lot of people coming into the season had some concerns about their pitching. Really hasn't been a problem. No, it hasn't. It's been a lot better. I mean, I, you, 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 you know, Look, well, when Andy Pettit didn't come back and didn't get Cliff Lee and, you know, you came out of spring training counting on uh, Bartolo Colon and not being able to count on Phil Hughes, you would have, I think most of us thought, well, this is going to be a, a, a trying season for Joe Girardi. But um, it's turned out. I mean, you look at where they are now uh, in, the, in the American League East in first place, and their starters ERA and quality starts are better than Boston's. And, uh, you know, right now at this this moment, with Hughes coming back, if Hughes stays healthy, the Yankees' starting pitching is, is probably in better shape than Boston's. Um, now, Tampa Bay's might be the best of all, but you know, they they have this upcoming 11 consecutive games against the Yankees and Red Sox, which may go a long way to determine whether or not they're in the race. But the Yankee pitching has been good. I mean, it, and it's amazing that they were able to stay where they are, losing Hughes and then losing Cologne out, out of the disabled list. And you know, knowing that and even considering that, do you think the Yankees are content to stand pat with that starting pitching? Because they are still counting on some guys, Colon, uh, Hughes now, and Garcia, who are pretty big question marks. Yeah, they are. I, I, I would not surprise me at all if Brian Cashman doesn't make a couple of moves. Um, I think there's a potential for getting another outfielder. And um, I, think, I think you may get a middle reliever. I mean, I've heard him... Um, you know, I know he's been in with San Diego a little bit on uh, on Adams, who's you know a, be an ideal guy, and I you know I think he'll shop around. There isn't a lot of starting pitching there. The question is, would you you know if you could get Jeremy Guthrie away from Baltimore, that might be costly because of the way Baltimore views the Yankees. But um, you know, Corrado from the Dodgers and Wandy Rodriguez from the Astros right now are probably the best starters out there, and could one of them be? You know, like a fourth or fifth starter for the Yankees the last two months, uh, you know, pretty good chance of it. And one of the big situations facing Joe Girardi right now is Derek Jeter. It's a big story here in New York. He's back in the lineup now. He hasn't been hitting, but he's still batting leadoff. How do you think they will handle this moving forward, and how do you think they should handle it? Well, I think in time, if he doesn't hit better, and it has been a, a, a decline right up, you know, going through his first game coming back, that um, you know, maybe they hit him second, maybe they hit him eighth, move him around a little bit. I mean, I think that the way Derek, um, he wasn't happy about the contract negotiations. I sensed uh, early in the season some displeasure uh, with his situation. But I think in the end, what he cares most about is winning. And if they're in a better, if they're in better, have a better chance of winning with, with Gardner leading off and Derek hitting in the, in the bottom three of the order, he's going to do it. Um, and I do know this. I mean, they've got a couple of young infielders, but uh, if you're playing in October and the, you've got two outs in the ninth inning and a, and a runner on third, you still want the ball hit the cheater. And, uh, and I think that really means something, and I think the Yankees know that. Peter, thanks so much. Okay, Ted, thank you. Peter will be part of MLB Network's All-Star Game coverage next week, which will be live on the field before the Home Run Derby and the All-Star Game. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.